Portland is, of course, a city for cyclists, bikers of all kinds, like 35 year old Michael Tremble. He's overcome an obstacle course of life's challenges on what's been an uphill climb in finding his bliss on a bike. 3,098 miles this year so far. Michael Tremble is counting his miles, riding to work at Care Oregon in Portland and around the metro area. Where do we find visible arm? Actually, slow traffic down because people will take one look at me and then they take a double look and they're like, oh my goodness, what am I seeing? What they don't see is his story of triumph. He was born without arms. He says the result of the Chernobyl nuclear meltdown. Orphaned in St. Petersburg, he was adopted at age eight by an American couple. But he says they were abusive and never understood him. Despite the juvenile delinquent system being as bad as it was, it was still heaven compared to living with my parents. We just never got along. Uh, they were very religious. Once he was old enough, he set out on a life of independence and reignited a love for cycling. Back then, I didn't know anything about you know, paraplegics, biking, about hand cycling. I didn't know any of that. Finding someone to make the type of adaptive bike he needed became another one of life's hurdles. And I was told that I was either a legal liability or that what I wanted done was um, impossible. Eventually, he found a shop that could make the right bike. And when he moved to Portland in 2015, he kicked it into a higher gear. What's up, long time no see. How you been, bud? But there were more obstacles to navigate. A crash in 2016, the reason he says he'll never go without a helmet again. You know what they say, what doesn't um, kill you uh, keeps you biking. He's now a regular in Portland's biking community, a reminder of the success a cyclist feels after an uphill climb. Yes, you do have to acknowledge your limitations, but don't be limited by those limitations. You know, work within those limitations and see how you can rise above those limitations. Michael's main message, where there's a will, there is a way. His next feat? A run for Oregon governor. He's going to join a growing number of possible candidates. We have more information on that at KGW.com. We'll be right back.